Hey everyone, this is going to be a tutorial for Thread the Needle, which is a double hoop uh, trick. So, um, anyway, essentially Thread the Needle looks like this and can be done reverse or, uh, sorry I showed you, sorry it's kind of tight in here. And, um, I actually learned this trick on with the hoop so far I learned it with poi but I'm gonna say but that's just because I wasn't practicing with poi but if you do have a pair of um, poi you most definitely should learn it with that first because with the hoops it's like a you have to like let go and with the poi you don't it's just an over um, so anyway, um, with thread the needle, basically your hoops are going to be spinning in towards each other, and we have one hand come over and the hoop drops, and then the other one comes over and it drops. So they're continuously coming on top of each other and falling. So you look at my hands, and let's say they're spinning inwards right now. So I take one hand over, and it falls, and the other one falls. So if you imagine it kind of like each arm coming all the way around, and knock, is knocking the other one out of place, and then it starts to come around, this one knocks down. So it's just this continuous knocking out of place. So um, you can... Whatever, you want to try whatever works for you. Some people come way over like this for the thread the needle, and then other people just stack them on top, and you can do them either way. Um, it also just kind of depends on how big your hoops are. But the point with this is to exaggerate um, so that it makes it easier for yourself. So making sure to have big arm loops and then down. So because the more space that you get in between, the less likely that they're going to hit each other. So the other thing with that is that you're going to be having one hoop coming down, and the other one's going to be slightly in front of it. So each one, I tend to imagine my arm coming a little bit more diagonally in front of the other one. All right, so, um, I'm just gonna do this from the side really quick. That might help. Alright, so basically the trickiest part of this is the hand, um, the hand movement, the way that you uh, grip and have to allow the hoop to spin around your hand. So basically what we're doing is we have the hoop down here we're going to come around and when it gets to about here and you're holding around at the bottom you let it sorry you let it drop and then you're grabbing it again and then moving it out so we have two here I'm going to start with my left hand so I'm going to take this and once I'm just holding it out here like this once it's gotten over to here, I'm going to let it fall, and then I'm going to grab it again, and it's moving down, and this one comes over, falls, and then it comes down. So you have to kind of get into the rhythm of it. The other thing is with the timing. So as I'm doing this, I am moving my hands into position, and then letting them roll at the same time. So I start by bringing my left hand over to this one. They both roll and then I bring the right hand over and then both of them, I allow them both to roll and let gravity take over. So basically it's no matter where you are on the hoop, you're just gonna let it roll and um, catch it again. So it's kind of like, like I said with the hands, one going over the other. And you can do this without 
gripping too. It just might help. So right here, all I'm doing, actually no, it definitely is easier to grip, but this is a way to do it, is to bring your hand over and your hands are just gonna be out like this. The hoops are rolling in your little L. And I'm just moving my hands. This is a little bit quicker because you don't have that pause. So you can do like this or you can grip it in the beginning, which might make it easier. So I'm moving, letting go, moving it, letting go. And one just basically coming down from around and then going, crossing over diagonally into the plane in front of it. Um, so I'll do this again from the side. Well, yeah, there you go. That So you can kind of see here how one comes in front. All right, so hopefully that helped. That's my first mini tutorial. So um, this is kind of like an intermediate move. It was one of probably one of the first more like exciting tricks that I learned. But um, you know, just remember to keep on your planes and. Um, and just work on the timing because that's the most important part of this trick. Oh, I just almost forgot about reverse. All right, so I knew how to do this trick for a few months before I even learned reverse because it's just a really awkward, like, awkward move. So I would also, it's another one. I learned it with poi backwards before I was able to learn it with the hoops. But basically, so with your hoops, you have them spinning inwards. And for a thread the needle, you're just going over and over like this. So then they come out and then reverse would obviously be opposite. So I have one coming up like this and the other one coming up like this. <laughs> this is so awkward. But instead of, so instead of doing this where they're piling on top, instead you're bumping it up and out of the way. So it has a way of kind of moving your body a little bit when you do it too. Just because it's just slight, actually a lot more awkward. But anyway, I tend to, yeah, with this one, I don't really grab as much just because it's, it makes it more awkward to keep things in line. But you'll see, I still have that pause. Um, but yeah, it's basically, if you want to try that too, I would say master this and then just think of it as exactly the opposite and just pause your hoops like that and just go back and forth. So anyway, um, yeah, hopefully that tutorial helped you. So good luck.